By the time Jack made it back to the kitchen carrying the amulet, the giant and the cat had finished eating. The giant was washing his dishes, whistling a little tune, and the cat was cleaning her face. Jack hoped the cat wouldn't see him if he tried to sneak out. So moving very slowly, he crept around the edge of the room. The cat did see him, but she was too full of breakfast to bother giving chase. Jack was able to get out of the castle safely, and he ran for the beanstalk. Jack took half the time to go down as it took him to go up. If it took him four hours to go up the beanstalk, what time was it when he got to the bottom if he started climbing down at 6.15 p.m.? Jack was worried that the giant might try to come down the beanstalk and end up on his front porch, particularly when the amulet was found missing. There was only one solution. Jack was going to have to cut down the giant beanstalk. Jack can chop the width of his hand with every chop. Estimate how many chops it will take to cut through the beanstalk. Spin the numbers on the sign to make your estimate. Tap the beanstalk to chop it down and see if your estimate was right. After the last chop was made through the base of the beanstalk, the whole thing fell to the earth with a loud whomp. Jack went into his house and told his mother what had happened. She cooked him a bean dinner and Jack went to bed. The next morning, wearing the nice clothes his mother insisted he wear, Jack walked to the king's castle. At first, the king's guards would not let Jack enter the castle. He was just a poor farm boy, and as far as they were concerned, he had no business trying to visit the king. Then Jack showed them the amulet, and they immediately rushed him to the throne room. The princess was so happy to get her amulet back that she gave Jack a handsome reward. Jack and his mother would never have to worry about money again. Place the weights on the scale to figure out how much the reward weighs.